So hi, hello and welcome, Mike Rope Hunter here and uh, these little creatures, these are so-called vinegar eels. Now vinegar eels are of course not really eels, but they're nematode worms. They're tiny ne nematode worms, just a few millimeters in length. And I put them under the microscope uh, to show them uh, to you. Now those vinegar eels, uh, they can form in vinegar, especially when you make vinegar yourself and even in companies that produce vinegar, um, those vinegar eels, they might appear especially then if the vinegar might become contaminated a little bit and I think of flies for example or fruit flies they uh, can carry the eggs of those worms uh, yeah to the vinegar and this is how they are able to spread not a very nice uh, thought I know to think uh, that uh, those worms um, are basically part of our food or once were part of our food but they're not parasitic and they don't do anything bad uh, but still the american food and drug administration does not allow them to be in vinegar but during the manufacturing of the vinegar it's okay if they're present and they say you have to filter them away before selling the vinegar now in my jar where i've grown uh, those little uh, nematode worms i could see that there were those white clusters appearing and those white clusters these are thousands of worms that came together and aggregated together now i don't know why they do that but when you shake uh, the glass jar a little bit then you can see sometimes that those clusters break apart and the worms start to separate and even under the microscope on my microscope slide i could see that the vinegar eels the, those nem nematode worms started to aggregate together and spontaneously form those clusters I mean, I think it's a little bit uh, strange because I actually thought that when you have those clusters, then uh, there might be a problem getting enough oxygen, but apparently they don't mind doing that. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to grow those vinegar eels yourself, uh, usually they can be bought in shops uh, selling fish food because as a matter of fact, uh, you use them in an aquarium. If you want to know how to grow them yourself, uh, then you can visit my uh, link in the description below uh, to another uh, YouTube video that I made that actually describes and shows you um, how I've been breeding those worms and how I've prepared uh, the growth medium. But today I would simply say, thank you for watching and happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time bye bye